Guys, I just recorded 12 minutes and now it, it got deleted. So I'm recording it again because I really liked the video for once. It's about um, recovery being uncomfortable. It's because Gabriela left a comment and she told us that she had an accident and now she cannot walk for six weeks. And that's what actually kickstarted her recovery after being in quasi for so long. And yeah, for me, uh, something similar happened actually for me was COVID, where I was just stuck to my house. And I started watching a lot of Tabitha Farrar and I was just like, oh my god, girl, I have to stop moving. <laughs> I have to start eating everything that I see in order to recover. So I want to quickly compare recovery um, to some things just to show you perspective. So for me, recovery is really like an investment that you will profit from after the investment has been done, you know? So usually I would say recovery lasts between two and five years. I don't know. Depends on the person, depends on how stubborn you are. For me, I was extremely stubborn once I really got to the point where I decided now it's time to recover and then it took I would say around a year but before that I was already like trying to recover for a year so in total it was like two two and a half years including quasi recovery um, but yeah so for me what came to my mind was imagine you're working and you have a nice job and you just finished your studies and you want to get into a different field but actually you have to have experience in that field to switch to the field you know so you decide to do an internship and your wage will decrease like your salary for a year and that means you won't be able to go on holidays you won't be able to treat yourself a lot to restaurants and stuff that you would have if you just continued your job or done like a little more in your field, but also not really. But if you do the internship, you will suffer during that one year. But then once a year is done, you get an amazing job in your field that pays well and you're just happy with the what you do, you know? And then from then on, your whole career, you're kind of like thankful for doing this one year where it was a little bit annoying, but at least like afterwards, you were very happy. You can also compare it to investing money, I would say, like you invest, let's say $10,000 now, which like your bank account is like, why didn't you spend me on holidays? Why didn't you spend me on a nice flat instead <laughs> or whatever? But then like in 10 years, this 10,000 will go up to, I don't know, 25,000. I'm exaggerating now. And then you will get to do so many more things because you decided to invest your time and money back in the days. And for me, recovery is kind of the same. You know, we have um, two, three, four years of a really difficult time. It's also a cool time because you see progress, but it's a very difficult time. You have to face uncomfortable situations every single day. You have so many tears going down, you have so many angry moments, panic moments, you're just bloated, you feel uncomfortable, you feel too big, everything. Um, but once recovery is done and you are recovered, like truly recovered, um, you will be so much better. You will have, I compared it before, like, Imagine you're going to a um, dinner, or not a dinner, but like a, I went to an, a creamy dinner, I don't know if it, it's the same term, but like you have to solve a case and while solving the case you're eating dinner and you're playing a role. And for me, if I was eating disordered, I would have had like some thoughts about what people are going to think about my body. And I would have had so much fear of what we we're going to eat. Like, what are we going to eat? How much should I eat? Like, is it going to look sus if I don't eat a lot? 
but I also don't want to eat too much and like so many worries and like maybe restricting before the event, blah, blah, blah. During my ED recovery, <laughs> I would have had so many worries about my body. Like, oh my God, you cannot imagine. I would have thought, oh my God, I'm, or, what should I wear so they don't think I'm fat? Do I even have the clothes or am I too big now for this costume? And and then I would also think, oh my God, can I eat enough? Or are they going to judge me if I eat a lot? <laughs> like all those questions. And now I went to one last weekend and really the only worry I had was um, my costume. But also not really a worry because I just found it, I put it and I went. And I didn't think about anything else. I was also comfortable to say at the dinner, hey guys, I'm hungry, should we make dinner soon? <laughs> and I don't know, it was just so chill. And I didn't have a, another worry in my mind instead of like, I want to win this case. And I actually won, by the way, I was the murderer and they didn't um, find it out. So props to me. <laughs> but yeah, um, just to say, like, I think in ED and in ED recovery, you will have a lot of struggles. And once you are recovered, that's when the nice time starts. So currently, a lot of people are kind of romanticizing EDs, uh, ED recoveries. They're just sitting in a cute cafe, drinking like a cappuccino and eating a cake. And of course, there's moments like that. But there's also moments where you just eat like a whole pot of pasta. Then you eat like three boxes of cookies and you just feel disgusting afterwards. Even though you did the right thing, you feel horrible. There are moments where you wake up and just feel so heavy because you're constantly gaining weight, where also you're doing the absolute right thing, but it just doesn't feel right. It feels very uncomfortable. And that's kind of the reality of ED recovery. It's not going to be nice. It's actually going to be very difficult, but you're going to learn a lot from it. Like you're going to learn um, to not care about what people think about you. You're going to be so much more resilient as well. So a lot of learnings um, that you will profit of once recovery is done, but during it, it's not nice. So yeah, that's just to say that you have to have kind of a light at the end of the tunnel to motivate you. Really think about once you are recovered, how amazing you're going to feel, how free and comfortable, you know. But of course, during recovery, it's not going to be comfortable. And if, if it is you know you're not on the right track. It has to keep being uncomfortable. Once you get used to eating a lot, you have to get used to eating all kinds of foods, even your um, fear foods. Once you have all foods in control, you have to start drinking liquid calories, which is also a very scary thing for a lot of people. And just step by step, you cannot exercise, really. I tell you, don't do it. Um, it's just gonna keep you in quasi-recovery. There are so many things that are uncomfortable that you have to do in order to get to real recovery. Yeah, just to say, like, it's gonna be uncomfortable for sure. It's not gonna be much more comfortable at all than um, an eating disorder itself. But it's gonna be so rewarding. Like, you have three years of horrible time, but then you have... 70 years of a great time once you're old or 50 years or whatever so yeah i hope this could help you a little bit and i wish you a great day